Again, thank you for viewing the movie Drilling. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more updates. The Kardashians Season 4 Episode 9 Release Date Spoiler in Time The release date is November 23, 2023. The time and date of the Kardashians Season 4 Episode 9's premiere have been disclosed. The segment is named You Have Destroyed Our Family. A new series featuring the family you know and love gives you an all-access pass into their lives. Returning with the cameras to expose the reality behind the headlines are Chris, Kuitney, Kim, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie. This series draws viewers in with a grippingly honest tale of love and life in the spotlight, covering everything from the enormous responsibilities of operating billion-dollar corporations to the humorous delights of playtime and school drop-offs. The synopsis of the eighth episode of The Kardashians, which is supposedly Tristan Thompson's season of atonement. The unruly ex-husband of Khloe Kardashian and her baby daddy has been working extra hard to worm his way back into the household. Luckily, Kylie Jenner and Kourtney Kardashian intervened to remind everyone why we were hashtag Team No Tristan in the first place. Unusually for the sisters, Kourtney and Kylie actually showed up to film many scenes in the most recent episode. Don't misunderstand, Kim Kardashian is still the face of this family and the program that brought them fame. Still, it's encouraging to see some assistance. This week, Kim started her acting career. She looked to none other than the theatrical Scott DeSick for assistance running lines as she got ready to join American Horror Story. With Kim in New York City, Scott was prepared to help her every step of the way and share the rent. Kim studied acting classes to commit multiple pages of lines to memory since she took the part seriously. She realized that slowing down was her objective for 2023. While in New York City, Kim had a full schedule, trying on gowns for the Met Gala, and helping Kuitney with Blink 182's tour. She'd overslept through her alarm for the first time in her life, and she was tired. During and Skim's advertisement in the morning, she was also so euphoric that she was giving away secrets to fans without considering the brand's long-term goals. Kim, who was half-sleeping, remarked, This whole morning has been a complete foggy dream. Kim acknowledged that American Horror Story had pushed her over the edge, but she can't turn down an opportunity or back down from a challenge because she fears it won't come around again. I put a lot of effort into ensuring it doesn't disappear. Even if Tristan has officially moved out of Chloe's house, he never stops hanging around in his tracksuit, ready to spew some overused metaphor. Due to her involvement with Tristan's brother Amory's medical care, Chloe felt somewhat forced to remain close to her ex. Before she passed away, she assured Tristan's mother that she would keep helping with Amory. But Chloe stayed out of it when Tristan said he wanted to make amends to each member of her family for his previous infidelity. At that point, he had reportedly communicated with Kim, Rob Kardashian, and Kris Jenner, but not the others. Though she didn't insist on him tidying up after him, K.H. Lowe supported the notion. Chloe stated, This is between him and each individual family member. I believe it's crucial for him to have these discussions for his personal development. Chloe doesn't let her sisters forget how much Tristan has hurt her in their relationship, even as she discusses the notion with them. Chloe told Kylie, That's the biggest mind FCK of all of this. You guys are amazing, but you just couldn't FC King be great to me. And for that reason alone, Chloe need to avoid ever seeing him again. Years ago, an infidelity incident involving Tristan caused Jordan Woods, Kylie's best friend, to lose her friendship. Tristan accepted blame for spoiling that, and Chloe said they were good since she had forgiven Jordan for her part. Tristan was getting ready for a private conversation with Kylie. For the long overdue talk, Tristan visited Kylie for the first time in years. He realized that what he had done had cost her a significant portion of her life. In hindsight, Kylie realized it was probably best for them to grow apart since she would still be living with Jordan if the Jordan incident hadn't occurred. Jordan and Kylie seemed to get along well these days. In their one-on-one -on -one conversation, Tristan found Kuitney a little more challenging than Kylie. Arriving with a notebook filled with complaints, Kuitney was prepared to extract the brutal truth from Tristan, not pretentious wording that would satisfy the family, from him. According to Tristan, it felt a lot like being in the principal's office. Kuitney remarked, I really don't connect with Tristan, and I just can't fake it. Tristan admitted to Kuitney how he felt the day after he cheated, realizing that he had never been taught how to love as a youngster. According to Tristan, he has never had to deal with difficult feelings because his mother protected him from the severe emotional abuse his father perpetrated on her. Instead, he hides them. Kuitney informed Tristan that he had made numerous errors in the past, such as continually blindsiding Chloe. She then delivered the harshest reality to him, and the show ended with a menacing to be continued. 
Kuitney declared. I don't think you deserve Chloe or the actions that you've done have been something that she deserves. Finally, we stated it now. Once again, thank you for watching. At Movie Drilling, we provide the finest analysis. Remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.